a second Colorado library closes because of meth contamination? Now, I see this, and I'm like, second? I didn't hear anything about the first. But anyway, a second Colorado library closes because of meth contamination. You know, when I'm doing my meth, what I love to do is I love to go to the public library to do my meth. That's my favorite meth spot. You know, I don't want to be at home in an environment I can control. I want to be in a public space around a bunch of kids when I do my meth. Who the fuck is doing meth at a library? I mean, Jesus fucking goddamn Christ. Like, I, you know, I, whatever. You're on meth. You do meth. That's something you like to do every once in a while. You're addicted. I don't care. I don't give a shit, okay? Do whatever you want. That's my opinion. But at a library? Now, again, I've never done meth. I don't really know what meth does to you. I know it's kind of, you know, it kind of, you know, it does a lot. But, you know, the last thing I want to do when I'm drunk, for example, is be at a fucking library. The last thing I want to do when I'm high on weed is be at a fucking library. So who the fuck is doing meth and going to the library? I don't know, man. I'm not sure. Um, now, I can imagine it's probably, you know, people that maybe are homeless. And, uh, you know, maybe they are addicted to meth and they don't have somewhere to live. So they go to the library just to be inside somewhere. That's possible. I'm okay with that. You do what you have to do. That said, if anyone's actually doing meth and going to the library for recreation, I mean, I mean, that's just weird. But anyway, let's get into this because this will be interesting, I'm sure. A second library in Colorado has closed after city officials said it was contaminated with methamphetamine. Whoa. What does that even mean, by the way? Contaminated? Like, there's just crystals strewn about everywhere? Like, people are hiding their stash in the books? Like, you know, like, fucking, like, John Wick or some shit? Like, what What does that mean? It was contaminated with methamphetamine. Like, there's just, like, vapors that are stuck to the wallpaper? Like, what does that mean exactly? The public library in Englewood, about seven miles south of downtown Denver, was closed last week shortly after test results showed that its bathrooms, as well as other surfaces, were contaminated with the drug. Now, again, what does that mean? Contaminated? Like, does that mean I can, like, put my nose up to the fucking bathroom mirror and get a little hit off of it? What does that mean? Contaminated? Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm genuinely asking. I don't know. I don't know what it means. That's why I'm asking this question. I have no fucking idea what it means. Quote, out of an abundance of caution, the city, which has a population of about 33,500, said it had decided to temporarily shutter the Englewood Public Library, as well as a lobby in some restrooms in the nearby Englewood Civic Center, citing contamination. Now, again, what the fuck does that mean, contamination? I don't know what that means. I'm not sure what that means. Does that mean that you can get, like, a contact tie? Does that mean it just smells funny? Like, what exactly does that mean? I don't know. We have no idea. Um, well, I mean, I guess maybe they'll tell it, so I'll keep reading. Sean Lewis, the city manager, said in a statement that the test results were troubling. He said the city would immediately begin work to re remediate the affected areas of the library with the goal of reopening as soon as possible. Now, again, affected areas, how are they affected? Are we going to fucking figure out how they're affected? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not the meth expert, right? My only experience with meth is watching Breaking Bad, okay? And that doesn't really tell us much. But again, what, what is the contaminant? I'm just curious. I'm just curious. I want to know, like, just for my own personal safety. You know? I just, if, you know, what does that mean? It's contaminated. It's affected. Like, does that mean it just smells weird? I don't, I don't really know. Like, like, unless people are dropping their stash or something, and so, like, a kid could get into it, that's an actual problem. But I wouldn't call that contamination. I would just say people are leaving drugs at the library. So I'm just curious. What the fuck does contamination mean? I don't know. The health and safety of our staff, residents, and patrons is of the utmost importance. Okay. Well, I mean, again, I would like to know why our health and safety is... is, is, is I, I'm just curious. I don't know. In Boulder, officials say they had decided to test after receiving reports of people smoking meth at the library's restrooms. Remember... I mean, that's a lot... Again, imagine... I don't know, you gotta be really fucked up in your addiction to be thinking, yo, I'm gonna go to the public library and smoke some meth. Like, list of places that I don't want to do drugs. The bathroom at a public library. I mean, I'm not going there. You know, I'll do drugs in the bathroom of a movie theater or something. 
then I go watch a movie, right? But when I'm on drugs, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's because I got dyslexia, you know? So when I'm on drugs, I can't read books. When I'm high, when I'm doing like edibles, I can't read books. The words, you know, they, they blend together. So maybe that's why I'm not trying to be anti-library here. I love the library. It's just I can't read books when I'm on drugs. That's just my experience. I just can't do it. But maybe people can, and maybe that's a thing. Or, again, most likely it's probably just homeless people that have nowhere else to go, which, again, closing the library is not going to solve that problem. All right, so homeless people uh, who are, happen to be addicted to meth are going to do meth in the library. Then you're going to clean up the library. Then guess what's going to happen? They're going to go do it again in six months from now? you got to solve the actual fucking problem. The problem is not the contamination of the library. The problem is that, one, people are addicted to methamphetamine and can't stop, and two, people are homeless and have nowhere else to do their drugs. Those are the problems, neither of which are solved by doing this fucking shit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just curious. I, I like. Are they going to solve the problem? Probably not. Okay, let's just let's just be honest. They're not going to solve the problem. And if this is a problem, it's just going to come back in six months to a year. Um, and that's just going to be that. And we're just going to keep going through these cycles until we actually deal with the root causes. Since COVID, the face of libraries changed. Marie Hata, the chair of the Englewood Public Library Board, said, Libraries are not just a place to check out books and do research anymore. The library, which is next to a light rail stop, has confronted numerous safety issues over the last uh, over the years, she said, placing staff in a difficult position of balancing the needs of everyone in the community. I'm on the side of helping people that said families need to feel safe. She said she was glad that the library staff and directors had taken the initiative to test the building. Now, again, if you don't solve the homelessness crisis and you don't solve drug addiction crisis, this problem is not going to be solved by cleaning up the bathroom. I'm just saying, right? I'm just like, it's just not going to happen. Okay. That's not real. Okay. So whatever they're doing here, it's just, it's, it's a bunch of bullshit. Deaths from drug overdoses rose to record, rose to record breaking levels in 2021, nearing 108,000, according to the CDC. A significant now what is the now centers for disease control and prevention right they have something to do with overdoses are they going to prevent overdoses how would we prevent overdoses first of all legalizing and regulating drugs second of all making sure homeless people have a place to go third of all funding rehabilitation efforts fourth of all decriminalize well, i already said that but just specifically you got to really decriminalize that shit is the cdc advocating for any of these things no therefore they're not controlling and they're not preventing anything it's just a bunch of fucking scam okay that's what the cdc is it's a scam organization as a way to fucking funnel our tax dollars to a bunch of fucking quack scientists climate denier science denier covid denier freak shows you know drug overdose, drug epidemic, whatever, deniers. The CDC is just a bunch of fucking egghead quacks, okay? Fake scientists that just steal our tax dollars. That's essentially what it is. They're not preventing anything. They're not controlling anything. I say, let's abolish the fucking shit. That's my opinion. But anyway, a significant share of those deaths resulted from overdoses involving methamphetamine, a highly addictive synthetic stimulant, and fentanyl, a class of potent synthetic opioids that are sometimes mixed with other drugs. Now, are people dying of methamphetamine? Yes, people die from doing methamphetamine. But are they, are, are, are 108,000 people dying from doing methamphetamine? No, no. They're dying from what's called fentanyl poisoning. I use the word poisoning here. What is poison? All right, let's say your husband is making you a great dinner. You know, first time in a long time, they're cooking for once, right? So you go in there and you're like, damn, this dinner is fucking good. But wait, what's that aftertaste? It's, it, it tastes a lot like Windex. That's called poisoning, motherfucker. You got poisoned. They, without your fucking knowledge, put something lethal in your food, whatever, drugs or food, food or drugs, it's the same thing. And it's causing negative health effects and it could kill you. So if you are buying methamphetamine and someone put fentanyl in it, that's called poisoning. That's not an overdose. How is that an overdose? Tell me in what world is fentanyl poisoning an overdose? Does overdose not mean anything anymore? Can we fucking define overdose? Like what the fuck? You know, I'm thinking overdose. You drank too many fucking liters of vodka. I'm thinking overdose. You shot up one too many fucking things of heroin. That's what I'm thinking. Overdose is not, oh, by the way, your 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 drug was laced with something else and actually it, it killed you. That's not overdosing. That's called being poisoned, okay? So I don't even know what the, I don't even know anything about this. Like this is just, what well, I live in a fantasy world as far as I'm concerned. Like this is a twilight zone. What the fuck is going on with this shit? Again, they're going to fucking treat the library and clean the library, but they're not going to do any sort of rehabilitation efforts. We're not going to stop the war on drugs. I mean, again, this is not an issue. This is not an issue whatsoever that needs to be addressed in the way it is and again calling the shit overdoses puts the onus on the user 
if someone is addicted to heroin, they know what the fuck they're doing. They know what the fuck they're doing. They know how to dose. They know how to use it, okay? And if someone, if they get heroin and it's laced with fentanyl, that's not an overdose. That's called being poisoned, okay? It's not, it's, I mean, come on, come on. So anyway, let's keep going. Number of deaths associated with stimulants like meth, which has grown cheaper and more lethal, reached about 33,000 in 2021. State and local governments have different standards for determining what level of meth contamination is safe for the public. What level of meth contamination? I love that. But the thresholds for remediation is set in Colorado are some of the most conservative in the nation. Once again, solve the problem. Don't solve the, the, the symptom, right? If you are sick and you are coughing, Taking a cough suppressant doesn't cure your sickness. In the same way, if there's contamination of meth at the library, cleaning up the meth isn't going to solve the root cause of the sickness. It's a bunch of bullshit, okay? They're doing a bunch of bullshit here. So anyway, uh, I just thought this is a crazy headline. A second Colorado library closes because of meth. I thought that was a crazy head, uh, headline. I hadn't read this article yet, so I'm, I, you know, I'm learning about this with the rest of the class. Um... Officials said that traces of the drugs in the restrooms in the library and the civic center exceeded state thresholds for methamphetamine contamination. Other parts of the library building also tested positive for methamphetamine contamination, but at lower levels, they said all of the affected areas will require specialized cleaning. How about, I don't know, drug rehabilitation? How about in the war on drugs? How about all that? I don't know. Society's not going to deal with the problem, so we're just going to have to keep watching people die. We're going to have to keep watching people die, and then the fucking, the state and the government's going to say, your ex, you know, your brother died of an overdose. You know, no, no, no. My brother did not die of an overdose. By the way, I have no brother that died of an overdose. I'm just making up a story. Um, you know, they were poisoned, right? That's, that's a crime, right? You know, now again, I don't think giving someone drugs is a crime. That's not a crime. That's morally neutral, right? In the same way that going to the grocery store and buying juice or soda shouldn't be a crime, you should be allowed to put whatever you want in your body. That said, what we should do is educate people on what they're putting in their body, right? If you're putting something in your body and you think it's healthy, but it's actually poisoned with high fructose corn syrup, but it's not on the label, guess what? That's poisoning and that's a problem. In the same way that if I'm buying methamphetamine and someone put fentanyl in it, that's poisoning, that's a problem. That's a crime, that should be a crime. But someone buying methamphetamine, that's not a crime. Someone buying apple juice, that's not a crime. Someone buying alcohol, that's not a crime. But if, again, that apple juice has added sugar in it, but it doesn't say it on the package, that's a crime. If the alcohol is laced with fentanyl or, you know, manufactured poorly and it causes uh, poisoning, that's a crime, right? So anyway, I don't know. This is just a roundabout, you know, war on drugs story, I guess. But still, it's just a bunch of bullshit. 